Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna to talk about the roster cuts, but first off, just wanna thank all of you guys here uh, for reaching out, checking on I me mean, here through the storm. We, we made it out okay. Everything's good here for the most part. There's still a lot of flooding uh, in the surrounding areas, but everything is coming back to uh, normal normalcy. So I uh, really appreciate that. The other thing here, um, uh, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate everybody, um, you know, commenting and, and and everything here, making the channel a lot bigger, uh, helping the channel expand and growth. Uh, we also have a um, have a Patreon page for the site. So if you want to go and become a patron, a patron of the site, I have a link in the description. So go click there, become a patron of uh, Cowboys Blog Official. Uh, you know, I'll have uh, videos there uh, behind the scenes. Um, you know, some stuff from that uh, doesn't make it to, to some of the videos. I'll have some exclusive videos, uh, outtakes, some bloopers, and that kind of thing, and some polls and and, and things like that. So go in there, and um, you know, if you want to help on the channel any way you can, uh, go ahead and go there and, and uh, sign up there. Uh, we have different levels of uh, support that you guys can do so really appreciate you guys there now let's get down to the news all right so the roster cuts they're gonna go down here they are due tomorrow saturday at 3 p.m this is serious we're in cat mode time because it's time all right it does, it's just time the cowboys are trimming the roster from 90 to 53 so they've already made a couple of moves leon mcfadden he's gone Ronnie Hillman, he's gone. Uh, McFarland, the tight end, he's gone. And then the, the other running back that they had just signed, Dukes, he's gone. So they have a couple of guys here that they've they've been releasing here. Um, looks like Cooper Rush is going to make the team. Noah Brown as well. Jared Jones says that he sees him making the 53 mountain roster. Cooper Rush is going to make the team. Uh, Dallas Cowboys, they just tweeted a video here or an article here on Cooper Rush his journey and everything he's done. So this looks like a done deal for him. Pretty much a no brainer. The question will be, do they carry the three quarterbacks like we've been talking about? For me, they can, but uh, they may need to go a little deep like we talked about here. So if you missed that video, check out my uh, 53 man roster prediction here. It's pretty much the video before this, but I'll have a link in the description here as well on that. So um, other news here, obviously, Ezekiel Elliott, right? They filed the motion. Oh, you guys know this by now, but there is an update on this. The uh, district court that they placed the uh, temporary restraining order against the NFL um, in Texas, that case will be heard September 5th on Tuesday. All right. So the NFL, they should, uh, Earl Henderson, will, you know, they're going to come out with their decision. Supposedly, if they didn't have their decision by by Tuesday at four o'clock, Ezekiel Elliott was pretty much guaranteed to play week one against the Giants. Um, but Ezekiel Elliott and his teams here, we talked about this as well. Jeffrey Kessler, the attack dog, making moves already. You know, preemptive strike, got this temporary restraining order in place against the NFL in Texas. So they're, you know, they're moving forward with this. And there's a lot of stuff coming out about this. All you guys have been reading that, right? The um, information being withheld, uh, orchestrated conspiracy. I mean, it looks really bad. The NFL, they just don't know what they don't know what they're doing when it comes to these suspensions. They need to get out of the suspension game business and 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 let this be uh, delved out outside because they don't know what they're doing. This is gonna blow up in their face just like all these other issues have blown up in their face all right ray rice josh brown uh, ezekiel elliott this is gonna blow up in their face you know they're hiding evidence not letting evidence in place then you have the uh the other person there uh frail uh you know a, a well-documented new york giants fan it's totally biased they need to get away from this the suspension business and and let this be handled another way all right they just don't know what they're doing and, it, and it's starting to affect people it's starting to set a precedent against some of these players collegiate players are watching this very close as well as other players here all right nfl they just they have too much power 
and uh, manipulating the system. All right, these guys are doing you know stuff behind the scenes that's that's would be probably against the law in, in other places. I mean, I don't know, but you know, this is a this is a pure railroad job against Ezekiel Elliott and the Dallas Cowboys. Am I right? So we'll see what other uh, things Roger Goodell and his henchmen have up their sleeves. These guys are henchmen, all right? Roger Goodell, these guys, we may not be out of the woods yet, all right? Goodell m might want to end up trying to use uh, his exemption list and, and place Ezekiel on that. But uh, NFLPA and the players, they know that this is an option. All this will be uh, brought up in these hearings. So we'll see what happens there, guys. But uh, three o'clock tomorrow, all right? So tomorrow afternoon, after the roster cuts are starting to come in here, I'll have a video here and we'll, we'll talk about the roster cuts, all right, guys? Let me know if you guys have any um, any comments on this, all right, on the Ezekiel Elliott or these guys that have already been released. Are you guys expecting any surprise cuts? Tyrone Crawford, Cedric Thornton, any of these guys, would they be surprise cuts to you? Um, let me know what you guys think, all right? So we'll see you here for the next video. Thanks, guys.